Well, the hands of time move again on a Baltimore icon. The Bromo Seltzer Arts Tower has undergone renovations for years, and now time is moving again high above downtown Baltimore. WJZ is live inside the tower. Marcus Washington shows us all the work it took to get things moving. Marcus? Yeah, a lot of work, Jessica. You know, this is one of the locations you really don't get to visit very often. Not many people. We are inside the clock tower where you can see all four sides are covered by those huge clocks. They've completed two of them. They're working on one, as you can see right now, as they are extending that hand outside of the window. They're wrapping it up now. But sooner or later, by the end of this week, the hands of time will be moving above downtown Baltimore. It's the reveal of years of work after time literally stood still. And today is the, the big day that we put the, uh, the hands back on the building. Work on the Bromo Seltzer Arts Tower clock began in 2015 when the motor that runs the clock died a few years prior. The hands stopped working essentially, all four of them. Uh, and once we took it apart and realized the damage that was done, uh, it just made sense to have the whole thing uh, restored and rebuilt. And that's where Balzer Family Clockworks out of Maine comes in restoring the rare clock. We're very familiar with how it was designed, but this is a very large, large timepiece, so the proportions were a little bit different, so we had to engineer all that. But it was such a joy to get it back the way it originally was designed to run. The tower was a centerpiece of the city once construction was complete in 1911 to the then Emerson Tower, which was also the tallest building in the city at the time. Oh. Fast forward 106 years later, and the clock is going back to how it originally operated, but the hands of the clock weighing less. So we've dropped 717 pounds of weight. So that clock is not going to work as hard. And to give you an idea of how large and light the new hands of the clock are, the largest one, which is the minute hand, is about 12 feet long. It's so light, I can literally move it with one hand. And that's how it works. It's a weight-driven, pendulum-regulated timepiece, meaning that the weights or gravity is the power source for the clock. A clock that will move the hands of time once again overlooking Charm City. And as you can see, they are working hard to get that hand out of the window. If you were walking around downtown, you could actually see this happening. Now, I was told that they should have all of the hands installed by tomorrow. The clock should be running. Everything should be complete by the end of this week. Reporting live from inside the clock tower in downtown Baltimore, Marcus Washington, back to you. We want to say, what time is it? <laughs> Marcus, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Preparing the clock is part of phase two of the tower's renovations, which will cost about $4.4 million. Yes. So many jokes. Like, well, Marcus, you watch know, out. Host, watch out. But he hosts like, on time. I, he's like the perfect one for that. He is.